Good morning, everyone. Now that things are starting to reopen, I was finally able to get a haircut finally. My hair was becoming really dry and frizzy and just it was tangling all the time. So I'm gonna take a better care of my hair from now on. And that said, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty, which is a hair care brand that offers 100% customizable hair care products. I've been seeing this brand everywhere and I'm happy to report that they actually do live up to the hype. To get your custom hair care product, all you need to do is to fill out a two minute quiz which will identify your hair type, hair goals, and other personal preferences such as color, fragrance, and you can also adjust the level of fragrance that you want. You can either select if you want this formula to be completely silicone free. The brand is also 100% cruelty free and vegan which is always a huge plus to me. My hair goals are anti-frizz, replenish hair, shine, soothe scalp, and strengthen. I have to have aromatherapy or a fragrance component in in my hair care and body care just because my hair and body can take more fragrance and more essential oils than my actual facial skin does so i chose lavender and eucalyptus i love the fact that they chose to use very gentle yet very very effective surfactants for the shampoo they didn't use the typical sls so it's very soothing and gentle on the scalp and my hair has been pretty smooth and very very clean after using this range they also use a lot of different botanical extracts and botanical oils, seed oils to further nourish the hair. If you want to invest more into some extra pampering, they also do offer leave-in treatments, hair mask, and hair serums, which is also 100% customizable. This hair mask so far has been really, really great and intensely nourishing and just soothing down the scalp and also just making my hair extra, extra shiny and smooth. Function of Beauty offered a 20% off discount code for everyone in the Pom Pom Fam, so you can follow my link in the description box if you're interested. Moving on to skincare time. My AM skincare practice is really, really simple. You guys all know that. I'm currently rotating between these two serums, which is Primera Black Seed Cold Brew Serum, Antioxidant Potent, very, very gentle anti-aging serum. I almost use this as a hydrating serum as well. And the second product is from Good Skin Days by Soko Glam, and this is their vitamin C serum with 10% pure ascorbic acid. And because I did use retinol, the night before i think i'm gonna go with something gentle in the morning retinol wise i'm currently loving the jordan samuel skin retinol treatment oil and the iope retinol expert 0.1 percent now this is a phenomenal one but a pretty strong one Followed by that, I'm going to use this Ozu Simple Water Cream from Crave Beauty. There's nothing like this in a really humid environment. This bursts into water, it's super lightweight. It almost managed your sebum, like oil production. Last but not least, we have to apply sun protection. This is the super good matte screen that I have been enjoying and loving and using it every single day, especially during the summertime. With this product, I don't need to use any foundation. At first, I really didn't get along with this texture because it's like a air whipped silicone moussey type that doesn't feel hydrating, but it just blurs out all of the skin texture and the pores. So it offers a pretty great coverage. This product can pill if you apply it too much. Mm. Actually, I might do my makeup. Recently, been obsessed with this M Cosmetics eyeshadow palette called Divine Skies. The shades are so stunning. I'm gonna use the peachy shade. Heading into the office. Keep social distancing. Mm-hmm. 
Getting my lunch. This place is normally packed during lunch hours because there's so many corporate offices around here, but look how empty it is. This is the last day I'm spending in Crave Beauty WeWork office. Our lease is ending, but we didn't renew our contract. So we're moving out. We are completely working from home till the end of the year. Picnicking, just chilling. You see the New York skyline view over there. Go this way. So I'll be ending the video here. I'm actually flying out to Korea today, which feels really weird because I haven't visited Korea for over six months and it's actually the longest time I haven't been back ever since 2020, I think. So next time I'll see you guys, I'll probably be in Korea quarantining for 14 days straight with no contact with any other human beings. So we'll see how that goes. I think that'll be an interesting journey to vlog as well. There are a lot of things to take care of in Korea with Great Beauty Korea, entire team and just the production, the supply chain and new product development, stuff like that. I'm kind of sad that, you know, I'll be leaving my significant other here in New York but yeah we're gonna stay strong we're gonna stay positive I'll be gone for a couple of months see you guys on the other side of the world <laughs>